Little did I know this would be the last moment I remembered for a while. On June 14th, I was in a bad car accident. I was having a regular day. I spent the entire day with my friend Drew at the beach. After leaving the beach, I took Drew home and then I went to go visit my grandpa who's currently in a nursing facility. But before I went to go visit him, there's this really pretty road. I stopped, I got out of the car and I took a little shot of me walking because I thought it'd be cinematic, whatever. And that clip right there would be the last thing I remembered for quite a while. Apparently, after I got back into my car and was leaving that road, I was hit, T-boned, on the driver's side by a car going somewhere between 50 to 60 miles per hour on a 35 miles per hour road. Um, I think they were in like a bigger Jeep SUV and I was in like a smaller Toyota Camry. I was hit so hard that I lost all my memory for probably the next two to three hours. 20 minutes later, I sent you a text and said, we're here by Pops, you can come see us. I said, otherwise we'll be home soon. And then literally within five minutes after me texting you that, you called me. And I thought you were calling me to I tell called me, you? Mm -hmm, to tell me you'd been in an accident. And I and was. you didn't know anything. You didn't know where you were, what you were doing. And I'm like, I looked, we were at Pops's. We grabbed our stuff. We told Pops we had to go. And we were like looking at your location and you were literally right there. We could have Yeah, because I was going to yeah. take video and then yeah. probably stop by. Mm -hmm. I got hit by a car trying to go see my grandpa who's currently in a nursing home fighting for his life. Not funny, sorry, Pops. Right after I got hit, the lady who was driving the other car apparently came and pulled me out of the passenger door and I was actually walking. Like I was somehow walking around, um, talking like a crazy person. I kept saying, I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. Like, because I was hit so hard, my brain was rattled. I lost all my memory from basically my entire life. The ambulance showed up shortly after, so did my parents because they were at the nursing home and that's like a two minute walk. I have little memory of being in the ambulance. The memory I do have inside the ambulance is just me being extremely frightened because I was aware that my brain wasn't working, but yet I couldn't say it or sp speak how I feel. I do recall thinking like I was gonna die or I was I was going to suffer some traumatic brain injury and not remember anything or just be completely disabled for the rest of my life. Anyways, my parents showed up on the scene. My mom got to ride in the ambulance with me and um, she just kept saying I, I that I kept repeating the same things over and over. It makes sense. I got a very bad concussion. She did though show me pictures of my um, family members and I was able to recognize them, which was a good sign. But the ambulance took me to a trauma three unit at a hospital. Trauma three is very high. The next one you can go to is trauma four, which is where they life flight people in with the helicopter. So it was pretty serious. When I arrived at the hospital, my memory kind of started to come back. Um, my mom kept telling me that I kept saying I had no idea where I'd been the last few months of my life. I pretty much had no memory of anything. And I, I went to take Drew home and I got hit by a car. <laughs> and I have no memory right now. And I just feel like my head hurts and I'm scared. So it wasn't my fault. I'm scared guys. You scared mom too. You did scare me. I how did you find me? You called me. I don't, I don't remember my you head to call me, but you did. Was the car totaled? Yeah. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, the car's totaled. Yeah, it's great. It's fucking great. My good leg is hurting. Okay. But when I got there, they started running some tests. The first thing they did was x-rays and everything looked fine, except for a bunch of glass in my arm that they did not want to remove. They ended up removing it like hours later, but we then had to wait in the hospital waiting room or in a little room like for quite a while um where i was waiting to get a cat scan of my brain of my chest basically my entire body make sure there's no internal damage finally when i got the ct scan there was 
damage to the liver. I had lacerations in my liver, meaning tiny cuts inside my liver. Because I got hit so hard, my organs shook around and my liver, I guess, took a hit. I have a laceration in my liver from impact, so I'm being transmitted to the hospital now. Potential surgery, I don't know. Yeah, maybe a concussion, or probably for sure. Broken legs. You don't have Just broken kidding. legs. Almost, shit. So with that, I had to stay in the hospital for a few days um, where they would take blood out of me every six hours to make sure there was no internal bleeding because if there was internal bleeding, there would have to be immediate surgery right then and there. Going back to the accident, um, I tend to drive with a big water jug and I keep it in between the car door, like in between the car door and the steering wheel so it's like right by my hip. And I'm pretty sure that water bottle had a huge role in the way I was able to come out of this alive. It got crushed more so than me. So that water bottle rests in peace, but I'm glad it was there. So I stayed in the hospital for, I don't know, two and a half days, I guess. So the camera is total. Total. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is. So don't ever get T boned. That's what it looked like when. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And it's been almost two weeks, and I'm still suffering um, from the accident. The concussion has been very bad. I'm an athlete. I've had a concussion in the past, but this is a whole nother level. So explain the scene when you first got there. You were delirious. I was out of the car. Walking around, not knowing where you were, what you'd been doing, and you didn't know what happened. Didn't know where you'd been, where you'd been for the last month, few months, you were confused. Didn't remember anything, didn't remember the accident, didn't know what was going on. That's what happens when you get trauma to the brain, guys. Don't do it. Blanky. Just woke up in the hospital. I feel horrible. I can't breathe right. My neck hurts, my head hurts, I'm nauseous. It's because I have a really, really bad concussion, so I blacked out for two hours. But I'll be fine, hopefully. Slowly but surely, I'm walking. My my good knee is now super swollen. My bad knee that I had surgery on a couple months ago. She's doing somewhat all right. I think the hardest part about going through a traumatic event is not necessarily the event itself, but the aftermath, like following it and two days later about to leave the hospital finally this was super hard for me because i couldn't remember what happened and my head hurt i couldn't think straight i had memory loss even days after the accident like someone would tell me something and i'd forget like my my mind my brain just was not working how it always worked my entire life, and that was very scary to me. Seven months ago, I was in an ambulance, again, fighting for my life, same thing. Being in an ambulance, understanding that my brain wasn't working and functioning properly, like being aware of that, yet not being able to communicate it. I experienced that seven months ago, I experienced that two weeks ago, twice now. And that is something I can't quite put into words on how frightening it is because it's like, you don't know if you're gonna die, you don't know if what you're feeling is permanent. It's almost like you feel your entire life in your hands, like slowly slipping away. And it is so scary and humbling. I had been recovering from that situation the last seven months of my life, like trying to piece it together, trying to heal from it. And then I just got into this car accident and it's now this one. I feel like also I live in constant paranoia now and I'm sure that will pass because I've experienced like things that are just so scary and everyone has, you know, their own paranoia from their own traumas, but that's a, 
that's definitely something I've been struggling with. Doesn't look bad, but it hurts. It's like glass. That one's in my teeth right there. All of my hands in the glass. Thanks, Grandma, for bringing me food. <laughs> I already ate it. Oh, I sure already ate it. I'm not feeling too good, so I'll eat mine later. I'm not trying to complain or be a victim because the victim mentality gets you nowhere in life. I just kind of want to reiterate how fragile life is and how anything can change at any given moment. And it is so important not to take things for granted, like your health. I remember sitting in the hospital bed um, after the car accident, like talking to my mom, saying something like, is it me? Like, do I attract all this bad stuff? Do I have bad luck? Like, why do I have to go through this physical pain? And you know, it's, it's something, like I struggle, like I'm human. It hurts, it physically hurts, it mentally hurts. And it's normal to question things. Like, sometimes you have to break down and cry. Sometimes you have to question things. Sometimes you have to punch a wall. It's human emotions and it's all normal. It's all a part of trauma and healing. I still don't feel right in my head at this very moment, almost two weeks later. I still feel foggy, slow, headaches. I've had a lot of anxiety. I kept get, getting like derealization, like I felt like I was in a dream. There was moments where like I thought I was in a coma and like I, I couldn't wake up from this bad dream because I didn't feel real and that was very scary. That was just the aftermath of getting hit that hard and getting my brain shook. I was struggling with putting the pieces together and feeling the way I felt, which was not normal. <sighs> Time heals. Um, what I went through was a complete accident. The lady who was driving is okay. Um, she had a baby in the car. Thank God the baby is okay. That's what's most important. I will be okay. You know, like sometimes things just happen. No rhyme, no reason. Accidents occur. Healing is a long journey. Something I will be doing for a while, maybe forever. I don't know. But like I said, life is fragile. Love others boldly. Be you unapologetically. Do what makes you happy and remain humble because life really is short. Things can change just like that. But thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Till next time. This is what being alive is about. Never forget it.